Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Thank you for watching. Today's episode is going to be focusing on a specific element of Math MTELS. This is going to be looking at the magic number of 240. Now 240 rings a bell for many of us. 240 is the magic number in which you have to get in order to pass the Math MTELS. Now a lot of people, they look at the 240 and they say, I really don't know what 240 means because in everyday life, we're used to a grading system of 1 through 100. And the 240 seems to be awfully high. In fact, sometimes I have students that get, you know, a 190, you know, 199 or something. I don't know, maybe, the, I don't think they got that, that score, but they get some weird number. And they, they're like, wow, oh, that's really good. I got 199 on my test. And they don't know how to translate into what it actually means. So let's take a moment right now. We're going to look at the 240. And then we're going to look at how you can actually get a sense of uh, how you could grade yourself and, and, and also how you can analyze and break down your score between the open response and multiple choice. But first, let's break down the 240. 240 is the passing score out of about 300 points, approximately 300 points. Now I'm going to reduce this, and I want to reduce this to its low. This means that the 240 is equivalent to 80% which basically means you are trying to get an 80 on your test. 80 on your test, that means, uh, that can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. It can mean, you know, one out of eight points, one out of eight points you gotta get correct. It's a pretty high mark. That's a, that's, that's, that means you have to know your stuff on this test. So let's take a moment now, let's look at how they score it so you have a, a, an idea of how many points you need to get on multiple choice and a gauge of how many points you need to get on the open response. Now a one really does make a difference on the open response. If you get a one or a three, that's a pretty significant difference. So let's look at it now. Hi team, now we're gonna take a close look, a detailed look at the practice test score calculation worksheet on the general curriculum mathematics subtest. Wow, that's a long title. And it, it's located at the end of your test. And it has this, these two tables, table one and table two. Basically, we have the number of correct on the multiple choice and your score, and the number of points you get on the open response and your score. I want to go over some case studies because I get a lot of teachers, they get all sorts of scores, and I want to break down what they mean. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's start with this first one right here. Let's say you get 30, 30 points on the multiple choice correct. That means your score on the multiple choice is 280. And let's say you get a 4 on the multiple choice. You nailed the multiple choice. You did unbelievable on the multiple choice. You get 30 points. Well, let's look at what that means. 30 equals 208. And four, an amazing score, unbelievable, you math genius you, equals 30. Well, what happens when I add them up? 238. Even though you nailed the open response, you didn't do so good on the, on the multiple choice. In fact, you're, let me just make this very clear to everyone. If you score le less than 31 points, you're not able to pass this test. That's what this means. Does everyone see that? If you score one-third on this test, that means you get like a 30 or below. There's no way, even if you get the 4, of get, getting the final score 240. That's critical. And that means what they're saying is, hey, 30 out of 45, if you're, if you're scoring a two-thirds or 66% on a multiple choice, there's no way to pass. Now. I want to bring that up because this is a wake-up call. This means that you definitely do have to um, increase that multiple choice. You just got to increase it a little bit. Uh, well, uh, you should think about it more, but you need to increase that. All right? Uh, let's look at another grade. Let's look if you push it up, you go from a 30 points on the multiple choice correct, and you get 34. You just bump, bump it by four multiple choice questions. Guess what happens? You get a 231. And let's say you bomb the open response, and you get a 1. Well, just by pushing the multiple choice by 4 points, you're going from 34, 
is equal to 231, and a 1 is equal to 12. Well, guess what? 2, I know, 43. You passed. Look at that. Just by going from a 30 to 34, four points, that brings you over the 240. I'm getting excited. Um, I, I want to point out one thing. Any multiple, if you get 34 or above, you're guaranteed to pass. You're going to pass. 34 or above plus the minimum score of, 12, of one point means you're going to pass. <laughs> Below 30 means you don't pass. So this is no. Below 30 on the multiple choice, you're unhappy. Above 30, 34 or above, you're very happy. Guess what, everyone? This is your sweet spot. This is where it all comes down to, all right? You want to try and get as close to 34 as possible. If not 34, it's got to be at least 31, and you've got to score high in the multiple choice. But it all comes down to this. So what are you going to be? Are you going to be a happy camper that scores, you know, at least 31 or above? If you get 34, you pass. Or are you going to be a sad sack? <laughs> We all are sad sacks all the, in one time in our lives. Where you score less than the 30. It means you're automatic, no matter, no matter what you do on the open response, you still uh, don't pass. All right, keep that in mind. One more thing, I just want to look at this score real quick. Let's say you got, let's say you got, I don't know, um, 22. 22 means 185 points. 22 is about out of 45, these all are about 50%. This means if you get in this range here, you're getting about 50% on the multiple choice. Well, this would tally with a 1 as your multiple choice point. This would tally somewhere around here, 197. So if you're getting something like in the 90s or 270, this is another wake-up call in the opposite extreme. It means that you're getting 50% on the multiple choice, and this is a this means you really gotta re, you really gotta get some help. You should sign up for some one to one tutoring through GoMath because you gotta turn this into at least a thirty one in order to pass. So that means a lot, huge improvement on the multiple choice. Okay, and you also want to try and boost this open response um, essay question up as well too. Okay, all right, team. I hope you found this helpful. Again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Check out some more videos from GoMath. Go to one of the Intel Math workshops. Um, we're going to have a whole bunch of new classes next uh, fall of 2013 in math, science, history, and English, and, and in ESL. So I hope you check those out as well. Again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.